Alexander Kostenko has finally returned home. His trip took three days. He had to travel 2,000 kilometers from a Russian prison to reach his home. In Kirov Oblast, in Kirov Chepetsk, where he had served his sentence, our consul went there by car, picked him up, brought him to Moscow. Then he was driven to Ukraine by car as well. This was done to avoid any risks, possible provocations or unexpected events. In Kiev, Alexander was given an apartment to live in. He is a resident of Crimea, but he cannot return there. His mother Elena came to Kiev to welcome her son home. She refused to talk to the press. Around 7 p.m., Alexander finally arrived. I do not feel that well. I want to thank everyone who wanted me to return, foremost to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Lyudmila Denisova and Petro Poroshenko. In May 2015, Crimean occupational authorities charged Alexander Kostenko for alleged battery of a Berkut Special Forces police officer during the Yeromaidan revolution protests in Kiev. He was sentenced to four years in penal colony in Kirov Oblast, Russia, and served three and a half years. He's exhausted, his back hurts and he complains of almost constant pain in his arm. He cannot bend it, it is warped, it has some kind of growth. I'm not a doctor, but I think he needs surgery. Alexander Kostenko will be provided with medical care and rehabilitation. He will receive the status of internally displaced person and all the benefits it entails. But above all, Kostenko is home. He's finally home.